Hello everybody, Wooden Railway on the here, back again for yet another review. Today's review is on none other than Vickerstown Station. Hey, and sir, this is, this is for you, sir. You know not to disrupt me when I'm in production. What's so important that this was filmed back in August? It's flipping October now. Oh, what is that editing team doing? It's been so long. Oh, what are they doing? Uh, uh, they're on holiday, sir. For two months? I mean, they earn those days. They're pretty hard workers. I mean, they're, it's, it's your rules. Oh, God, I'll have to do it myself. About time. Stow it, you! Oh, gosh. Composure, composure, we practice. Just buy something today, babe. Practice composure. Oh, this is meant to be big. Composure. Without further ado, I give you the Vickerstad Station Review. <laughs> Vickerstown Station was released this year as a tie-in to the annual special, The Great Race, which I quite liked. At first glance, this station looks absolutely epic. The back of the box gives an awesome picture of the TGR product that gives me excitement to film on this destination. Plus, there's these uh, cardboard cutout thingy... What do I call them? I, I, why would they include the... I, I, I give up. I guess you could say they really cut out the fun. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. I am so sorry for that joke. Oh, yeah. rusty writing. Out of the box, this destination does seem rather bland without tracks and characters. So let's spice this up. Bam! Welcome to Vickerstown, boys! This station stands out nicely upon this set, and I like this a lot. The whole point of the station is to look as grand as the awesome render we received in the show. Vickerstown Station has an extremely nice outer layer with great detail and an awesome plastic roof. But the plastic I'm You know what? No. I'm not gonna rant about the plastic for once. So, just stow it down in the comments. Stow it! I'm not gonna do it! Plastic's okay now! Deal with it. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta chill. This station has lights and sounds, but are sort of generic. But there are some pretty neat ones, such as the station motion sound. But it's just one of the many sounds that we've heard before. This station is surprisingly shorter than Natford's, as it has 6-inch track platforms instead of Natford's 8-inch platforms. One thing that kills me with this destination is the fact that you can't use V-switches on it as the platform tracks are too wide apart from one another. But I do like how you can use a 3.5-inch switch connected with another 3.5-inch switch. It's, it's, it's so cool. Yeah, I guess. It works. It looks cool like the actual station. The only thing I dislike is actually the price tag. $55 is not cheap for a TWR destination with no additional track. I mean, with Natford, we got V-switches and two buffers. But with this station, we get absolutely nothing. Just the cardboard cutouts. I mean, I like the destination, but it would have been highly more respected, in my personal opinion, if they came with V-switches to deal with these four track layers. You really can't get the full benefit of this destination if you don't have a fair bit of track. And all I can say is, not everybody does. But if you're looking to buy this, keep an eye out in this upcoming Christmas season because I'm sure there's going to be a sale in this. I really dig this destination. It just looks grand and important placed next to everything else. It also seems nice with the international engines here, either pulling freight, coaches, or shutting in the yards nearby. And with this little set I made, you can take coaches or freight from the yards and slowly make your way across to each desired platform, mostly due to the white spaces between the platform tracks. Overall, I think it's one of Mattel's better destinations, and I have to give it an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Hey you! Yes you! The one that waited for the credits to be over for foreshadowing. 
Well, if you haven't already, go check out Meteor in the Middle, Part 1 on Multi Green Thunder's channel. Link in the description. I only say this because Part 2 is coming soon. I, I promise. Uh, uh, no more delays. I promise. So if you haven't already done so, I only have one thing to say to you. Let's go already! Seriously, though, go, go, go check it out. It's, it's pretty good. Okay, thanks. Bye!